John, if you could do the honors. Is there a way to make this louder? I tried. Before you go live, can I say one thing? Who, who is this? Never mind, that was Lavaro. Oh, was Council Park Lavaro. Yep. Wait, we're live. Yep. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. We are on the record. Today is Wednesday, the first day of September 2021. Happy September, everybody. This is a special meeting of the Jersey City Municipal Council. In effort to adhere to social distancing protocols and best practices imposed by the city and state authorities, the city of Jersey City has canceled all public meetings and closed 90 essential services as of March 16th, 2020, until further notice. As a result, this council meeting will be held virtually as a video conference with public access. We had a scheduled 2 p.m. start. The clock on my computer is showing 2.04 p.m. They have a roll call for the commencement of this special meeting. Councilperson Ridley. Here. Councilperson Prinzeri. Here. Councilperson Baggiano. Here. Councilperson Soleil is not, not here, here yet. Councilperson Solomon, not here yet. Up, oh, I see Councilperson Soleil signing right. on. Thank you. Okay, I'll mark you present. Councilperson Solomon is not here yet. Councilperson Robinson. Here. Councilperson Lavaro. Uh, I'm here. Um, Barca, uh, just, um, I don't know if anyone's was aware, but the, the elevator I think is broken. Yeah. Um, Somebody could take care of that. Okay, the elevator in City Hall. The elevator should go. Okay, thank you, Councilman. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And Council mm -hmm. President Wilkerman. I see Council Person Solomon is here. Council President Person Solomon. And Council President Waterman. Here. Okay, we have eight council members in attendance at 2.04 p.m. Can we kindly rise for a moment of silence, please? Uh, committee man, Walter Daniel. Thank you very much. Kindly remain standing as we salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you very much. On behalf of Council President Waterman, in accordance with New Jersey Public Laws of 1975, Chapter 231, the Open Public Meetings Act, also known as the Sunshine Law, adequate notice of this special meeting has been provided by the posting on the bulletin board of the first floor of City Hall, the annual notice, which is the schedule of meetings and caucuses of the Municipal Council for the calendar year 2021 and filed in the Office of the City Clerk on Wednesday, November 12th, 2020. In addition, at the time of its preparation, the notice of this meeting was similarly disseminated on Monday, August 23rd, 2021 at 7 p.m. And the agenda of this meeting was disseminated on Friday, August 27th, 2021 at 5.30 p.m. to the Municipal Council, Mayor, Business Administrator, Corporation Council, the local newspapers, and posted on the city's website. So I can certify as to our total compliance with the Sunshine Law. Okay, just a couple of housekeeping rules and alerts. We are going to be holding a public hearing on the amendment for the calendar year 2021 municipal budget. I am required to read the entire amendment into the record and I'll be doing that momentarily. But before I do that, I just wanted to alert members of the public who are watching who have not signed up yet to speak. If they wish to speak, 
please use the live event Q&A and provide your full name, telephone number, and we will patch you through the meeting as soon as we have your information provided to us. You do not see a speakers list because this is a special meeting. So what you do see is the list of uh, people who actually listed themselves to speak on the actual budget amendment. Um, members of the public will have five minutes because we are speaking on the budget. And it's first come first serve. So as soon as we see your name on the live event Q&A, we will call you and patch you through the meeting as we see your name and telephone number. Just as with we were up in the council chambers, um, it, you know, they would line up uh, by the podium. So uh, with that being said, I am going to move on. If there's, if, if, does the council have any questions before I start reading the entire amendment to the record? No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hearing none, that means we are good to go. Um, so before I do that, um, Amanda is going to be sharing her screen so that the members of the public and members of the council can see the budget amendment as I read it into the record. So just please be advised that the amendment was introduced on August 18th, 2021, was duly advertised in the Jersey Journal on Friday, August 27th, 2021. So we are in total compliance with the law. And now I will start reading the amendment into the record, which is always the fun part of the meeting. Bear with me and I appreciate your patience. Thank you in advance. All right, on to the budget amendment. Count description. Number one, surplus anticipated. 19 million two hundred and fourteen thousand six hundred and six sixteen dollars from to seventeen million five hundred and eighty two thousand six hundred and sixty eight dollars and forty five cents total surplus anticipated from nineteen million two hundred and twenty five thousand three hundred and sixty six dollars to seventeen million five hundred and ninety three thousand six hundred and eighteen dollars and forty five cents miscellaneous revenues section a local revenues municipal court john we can't hear you Something is wrong. Did you? So you didn't hear anything yet. We, we heard just the beginning. OK, for Up some reason three. my mic got muted. So where where did you? Um, where was the last that you heard? I apologize. I didn't realize it. Miscellaneous, you started with miscellaneous. That's when I didn't hear you no more. So you did hear everything up to Miscellaneous revenue, section A, local revenue. Correct. Correct. Okay. I apologize for that. I don't know how my mic got muted. I think the computer's playing tricks on me. I apologize. Okay. So, miscellaneous revenue, section A, local revenues, municipal court fines, $14,729,112 to $14,524,109. Parking enforcement fees from one million seven hundred and thirty nine thousand six hundred and seventy two dollars to one million seven hundred and thirty one thousand one hundred and sixty one dollars. Total section A local revenues from forty six million nine hundred and five thousand six hundred and thirty nine dollars to forty six million six hundred and ninety two thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars. Next, miscellaneous revenues, Section C, dedicated uniform construction code fees. Uniform construction code fees from $7,913,506 to $7,909,600, excuse me, $967.68. Total Section C, uniform construction code fees 
from seven million nine hundred and thirteen thousand five hundred and six dollars to seven million nine hundred and nine thousand six nine hundred sixty seven dollars and sixty eight cents. Okay, miscellaneous revenue section B state aid without offsetting appropriations. Building aid allowance for school aid from one million two hundred and eighty nine thousand fifty eight dollars to one million two hundred and fifty two thousand six hundred seven hundred and sixty three dollars. Apologize. Consolidated municipal property tax relief aid from four million eighty seven thousand three hundred and fourteen dollars to three million three hundred and sixty two thousand seven hundred and thirty one dollars. Energy receipts tax from fifty nine million seven hundred and fifty seven thousand three hundred and seventy one dollars to sixty million four hundred and eighty one thousand nine hundred and fifty four dollars. Total section B state aid without offsetting appropriations from sixty five million one hundred and forty nine thousand five hundred and eighty to sixty five million. $113,285. Number three, <clears throat> miscellaneous revenues, section F, public and private revenues offset with appropriations. Cooperative marketing program from $0 to $11,700. CSBG additional funds from $0 to $9,517. Summer food service program from zero dollars to six hundred and fifty seven thousand three hundred and one dollar municipal drug alliance from zero dollars to one hundred and seven thousand eight hundred and twenty five dollars supplemental covid 19 outreach funding from zero dollars to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars h COS Pavonia Mar 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 Marin Park, sorry, 1 million from 1 million to 500,000. HBOS Gateway Park Complex from 1,305,030 to 500,000. DHSTS State STD Program from $0 to 115,000. Strengthening capacity OLPH from zero dollars to two hundred and ninety one thousand forty two dollars. Lowe's theater from zero dollars to two million five hundred thousand. Sustainable Jersey PSE and G from zero dollars to two thousand dollars. Comprehensive cancer control from zero dollars to thirty seven thousand dollars. 2021 American Rescue Plan Act from $0 to $41,291,993.96. Section, excuse me, total section F, public and private revenues offset with appropriations from $13,303,399.20 to $57,000. $171,748.16. Okay, on to miscellaneous revenue, section G, other special items. MUA water debt service from $3,880,940 to $3,427,900. $63.16. COVID-19 relief from $77,610,226.06 to $28,693,973.54. Interfund due from capital from $8,771,775 to nine million two hundred and twenty three thousand four hundred and fifty two dollars and thirty two cents. Capital fund balance from zero dollars to four hundred and eighty six thousand seven hundred and forty five dollars and forty cents. Due from payroll clearing is from zero dollars to two million four hundred and seventeen thousand three hundred and twenty eight dollars and eleven cents. 
total section G other special items from 253 million fifty nine thousand six hundred and thirty five dollars and seventy seven cents to two hundred and seven million forty six thousand one hundred fifty seven dollars and twenty four cents. Summary of revenues number one surplus anticipated sheet for number one from nineteen million two hundred and fourteen thousand six hundred and sixteen dollars to seventeen million five hundred and eighty two thousand six hundred excuse me eight hundred and sixty eight dollars and forty five cents. Surplus anticipated with prior written consent of the Division of Local Government Services sheet for number two from ten thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars to ten thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Miscellaneous revenues total section A local revenues from forty six million nine hundred and five thousand six hundred and thirty nine dollars to forty six million six hundred and ninety two thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars. Total section B state aid without offsetting appropriations from sixty five million one hundred and forty nine thousand five hundred and eighty dollars to sixty five million one hundred and thirteen thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars. Total section C dedicated uniform construction code fees offset with appropriations from seven million nine hundred and thirteen thousand five hundred and six dollars to seven million nine hundred and nine thousand. $967.68. Shared service agreements, there's no dollar amount. Total section E, additional revenues, no dollar amount. Total section F, public and private revenues, from $13,303,399.20 to $57,000. $171,748.16. Total Section G, other special items from $253,059,635.77 to $207,046,157.24. Total miscellaneous revenues from $360,000. Three hundred and eighty six million three hundred and thirty one thousand seven hundred and fifty nine dollars and ninety seven cents to three three eight three hundred and eighty three million nine nine hundred thirty three thousand two hundred eighty three dollars and eight cents. Receipts from delinquent taxes from one million fifty thousand one hundred and six dollars to one million fifty thousand one hundred six dollars. Subtotal general revenues items one, two, three, and four from four hundred and six million six hundred and seven thousand two hundred and thirty one dollars and ninety seven cents to four hundred and two million five hundred and seventy seven thousand seven dollars and fifty three cents. Amount to be raised by taxation for support of municipal budget. Local local tax for municipal purposes, including reserve for uncollected taxes from $197,563,302.14 to $207,394,643.26. Additional to local district school tax from $1,677,405.15 to $1,536,000. $85. Minimum library tax from $14,744,186.94 to $14,744,186.94. Total amount to be raised by taxation for support of municipal budget from $213,984,894.23 to $223,674,915.20. Total general revenues from $620,590,000 to six hundred and twenty six million two hundred and fifty one thousand nine hundred and twenty two dollars and seventy three cents. Okay.
on to operations within CAPS, employees, benefits, salaries, and wages from $488,134 to $554,134. Employees relations, strategic work, workforce management, salaries, and wages from $874,110 to $808,110. Administration's office salaries and wages from $2,340,000 $406 to $1,943,834. Administrative, administrator's office, other expenses from $470,575 to $255,675. Okay. See the next page. Architecture salaries and wages from $831,287 to $851,287, to excuse me. Architecture other expenses from $94,300 to $19,300. Engineering traffic and transportation salaries and wages from $4,862,391 to $4,000,000. $832,431. Traffic engineering and transportation, other expenses from $3,055,829 to $2,980,829. Communication salary, salaries and wages from $565,114 to $620,000. $114. Communications other expenses from $64,911 to $88,437. Internal audit salary and wages from $409,625 to $446,625. Information technology salaries and wages from $816,018 to $924,713. Municipal court salaries and wages from $5,201,518 to $5,212,968. Public defender, other expenses from $350,500 to $400,000. Management and budget salaries and wages from $618,917 to $688,917. Sorry about that. Management and budget other expenses from $517,600 excuse me, $517,068 to $373,068. Treasury and debt management salaries and wages from $438,705 to $371,956. Accounts and control salaries and wages from $684,191 to $555,025. Tax assessor, other expenses from $181,578 to $188,278. Law salaries and wages from $2,794,006 to $2,774,000. Law other expenses, $875,150 to $885,150. DPW, Director's Office, other expenses from $12,309,700 to $12,294,200. Building and streets, maintenance, salaries and wages, from $3,528,836 to 
to $3,331,226. Building and streets maintenance, other expenses from $2,442,000 to $1,462,000. Sanitation, salaries, and wages from $4,062,141 to 40 million, to, excuse me, to $4,208,419. Neighborhood improvement salaries and wages from $1,156,388 to $935,000. Solid waste management salaries and wages from $570,858 to $611,017. Automotive maintenance salaries and wages from $2,306,205 to $2,374,205. Automotive maintenance, other expenses from $4,071,000 to $4,221,000. Parks maintenance, salaries and wages from $2,377,476 to $1,805,996. Park maintenance, other expenses from $1,561,500 to $1,661,500. Health and Human Services, Director's Office salaries and wages from $1,246,991 to $152,610. Health and Human Services Director's Office other expenses from $2,093,225 to $9,075. Environmental health salaries and wages from $1,026,981 to $516,015. Disease prevention salaries and wages from $361,458 to $37,518. Disease prevention, other expenses from $125,500 to $25,500. Community health and wellness salaries and wages from $353,850 to $46,735. Community health and wellness, other expenses from $28,400 to $5,900. Senior Citizen Affairs salaries and wages from $505,174 to $68,112. Animal Care and Control other expenses from $900,444 to $948,444. Food and Nutrition salaries and wages from $263,765 to $26,376. Veteran Affairs, salaries and wages from $140,000 to $70,000. Immigrant Immigration Affairs, salaries and wages, $169,512 from to $83,756. <clears throat> Okay, on to police salaries and wages from one hundred million six hundred and forty four thousand one hundred seventy six to ninety million five hundred and four thousand five hundred and forty thousand four hundred and eight dollars. Fire and salaries and wages from sixty eight million one hundred thirty two thousand four hundred fifty one dollars to sixty seven million nine hundred and thirty two thousand four hundred fifty one dollars. Communications and technology salaries and wages from $5,385,797 to $5,372,376. Parking enforcement salaries and wages from $4,582,460 to $4,602,136. Quality of life salary salaries and wages from three million two hundred sixty eight thousand two hundred sixty nine dollars to two million two hundred sixty seven thousand six hundred and fifty one dollars. City planning planning <clears throat> salaries and wages from one million forty thousand seven hundred thirty one dollars 
to $1,066,031. City planning, other expenses from 158,200 to 168,700. Enrichment salaries and wages, 1, from $1,287,993 to $1,221,495. Enrichment other expenses, to, from $287,630 to $206,743. Recreation salaries and wages from $2,697,650 to $2,028,238. I'm just going to take a sip of water real quick. Apologize. Okay. Electricity. Other expenses from 2,800,000 to 2,700,000. Street lighting for other expenses from 3,600,000 to 3,500,000. Municipal rent other expenses from 4,274,014 to $650,173. Other services other expenses from 3,165,700 to three million one hundred thirty-five thousand seven hundred dollars. Group in, 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 excuse me, employee group health insurance from ninety-two million five hundred thousand to seventy-five million. Total appropriations item eight A within caps from four hundred and fourteen million forty-five thousand one hundred and fifty-one dollars to. $373,146,300. Con contingent, <clears throat> excuse me, B contingent from 50,000 to 50,000. Contingent within caps from $414,095,151 to $373,196,300. In Detail salaries and wages from two hundred and forty two million three hundred ninety five thousand two hundred twenty six dollars to two hundred twenty six million two hundred forty three thousand nine hundred twenty seven dollars. Other expenses including contingent one hundred seventy one million six hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred twenty five dollars to one hundred forty six million nine hundred fifty two thousand three hundred and seventy three three dollars. Okay. <clears throat> Deferred charges, statutory expenditures, prior year bills from $139,258.54 to $139,338.54. Over expenditure of appropriation reserves from $0 to $16,690.22. <clears throat> Over expenditure of trust fund reserves from zero dollars to sixty eight thousand nine hundred and eighty seven dollars and fifty cents. PERS. From four million eight hundred eighty two thousand two hundred eighty four dollars to four million nine hundred twenty thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars and twenty two cents. PFRS. From forty-nine million seven hundred and fifteen thousand two hundred and ten dollars and eighty-two cents to forty-nine million seven hundred and eighteen thousand seven hundred and eighty-eight dollars and thirty-three cents. Unemployment ex at compensation insurance from five hundred thousand to zero dollars. Total deferred charges and statutory expenditures from excuse me from seventy-four million five hundred fourteen thousand. $875.27 to $74,142,656.72. Judgments, $0. Cash year, deficit, proceeding year, those are all zeros, $0. Total general appropriation for municipal purposes within caps from $488,610,000 twenty six dollars and twenty seven cents to four hundred forty seven million three hundred thirty eight thousand nine hundred fifty six dollars and seventy two cents. Other operations ex excluded from caps. 
tax overpayments from one million five hundred thousand to one million dollars. Other total other appropriations excluded from caps from sixteen million two hundred and sixty nine thousand one hundred and eighty six dollars and ninety four cents to fifteen million seven hundred and sixty nine thousand one hundred and eighty six dollars and ninety four cents. Public and private programs offset revenues, Municipal Drug Alliance, $0 to $107,825. STD from $0 to $115,000. Summer Food Program from $0 to $657,301. Sustainable Jersey, PSE and G from $0 to $2,000. Cooperative marketing program from $0 to $11,700. Comprehensive cancer control from $0 to $37,000. HCOS Gateway Park Complex from $1,305,030 to $500,000. HCS, excuse me, HCOS Pavonia Marin Park, <clears throat> excuse me, one million from one million dollars to five hundred thousand dollars. CSBG additional funds from zero dollars to nine thousand five hundred and seventeen dollars. Strengthening capacity OLPH from zero dollars to two hundred and ninety one thousand forty two dollars. Lowe's theater from zero dollars to two million five hundred thousand dollars. Supplemental COVID-19 outreach funding from zero to $150,000. 2021 American Rescue Plan from $0 to $41,291,993.96. Total public and private programs offset by revenues from $13,453,339.20 to $57,321,000. $21,748.16. Total operations excluded from caps from $29,722,586.14 to $73,090,935.10. A detail zero detail salaries and wages is all zero dollars. Other expenses from $29,722,586.14 to $73,090,935.10. <clears throat> Capital improvements excluded from caps, down payment of improvements from $4,989,400 to $4,789,400. Total capital improvements excluded from caps from $4,989,400 to $4,789,400. Municipal debt service excluded from caps, interest on notes, special emergencies from $0 to $205,036. Capital lease program principal from $0 to $479,597. Capital lease program interest from $0 to $3,153,757. Total municipal debt service excluded from caps from $76,053,424.37 to $79,891,814.37. Deferred charges, interest on notes, special emergencies, from $205,036 to $0. Total deferred charges ex municipal excluded from caps from $9,773,136 to $9,568,100. Total general appropriations for municipal purposes excluding from caps, <clears throat> excuse me, from $124,000,000 $182,514.14 to $170,984,217.10. Total of type one school district debt service excluded from caps from $2,788,848 to $2,788,848.
deferred charges and statutory expenditures, local school excluded from caps from zero dollars. There's no, it's all zero dollars, no zeros, all zeros, I'm sorry. Um, district school purposes, items I and J from $2,788,848 to $2,788,848. Total of general appropriations excluded from caps from $126,971,362.14 to $173,773,065.10. Subtotal general appropriations H1 and O from $615,581,388.41 to $621,112,000. $21.82. Reserve for uncollected taxes from $5,010,737.79 to $5,139,900.91. Total general appropriations from $620,592,126.20 to $626,500 excuse me, $251,922.73. Summary of appropriations, total general appropriations for municipal purposes within caps from $488,610,026.27 to $447,338,956.72. Operations excluding from caps, other operations from sixteen million two hundred sixty nine thousand one hundred eighty six dollars and ninety four cents to fifteen million seven hundred and sixty nine thousand one hundred eighty six dollars and ninety four cents. Uniform construction code or zero dollars. Shared service agreements are all zero dollars. Additional appropriations offset by revenues is zero dollars. Public and private improvement excuse me, public and private programs offset by revenues from $13,453,399.20 to $57,321,748.16. Total operations excluded from caps from $29,722,586.20 $90,935.10. And we're coming to the end. Capital improvements from $4,989,400 to $4,789,400. Municipal debt service from $76,053,424.37 to $79,891,814.37. Total deferred charges from $9,773,136 to $9,568,100. Judgments, sheet 28, <clears throat> from $3,643,967.63 to $3,000,000. $643,967.63. Cash deficit with prior written consent of the local finance board, that's all zero dollars. Local district school purposes from $2,788,848 to $2,788,848. Transfer to school board, uh, excuse me, transferred to Board of Education, zero dollars, all zero dollars. Reserve for uncollected taxes from five million ten thousand seven hundred and thirty seven dollars and seventy nine cents to five million one hundred thirty nine thousand nine hundred nine hundred and dollars and ninety one cents. Sorry. Total general appropriations from six hundred and twenty million five hundred and ninety two thousand one hundred twenty six dollars and twenty cents to six hundred and twenty six million five six hundred twenty six million two hundred and fifty one thousand nine hundred and twenty two dollars and seventy three cents. That concludes 
the total uh, budget amendment read in full into the record. We are now going to hold our public hearing on the amendment. We're going to get our first caller patched through. If you can bear with us, we'll get our first caller on the line. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, members of the council and the staff for your patience for allowing me to read that all into the record. OK, I believe we have our first speaker on the call. If you can identify yourself for the record, please. Yvonne Bolter. Hey, Yvonne, your time is going to start on my countdown. You're going in three, two, one, go. OK, um, several years ago, the waterbed budget was in a 600 and $50 million range. According to the Jersey Journal, the Board of Ed budget is $814 million, which is an increase of about a thousand bucks for every homeowner. Now, we're being told we're going to get the money from uh, this COVID relief. But what about next year? And I bring this up because everything I see, everyone's running for offices, affordable housing. Affordable housing pays $0 to the board event. So my plan, my question to the city council, what do you plan to do to the to help out taxpayers next year if your issue is affordable housing and we're looking at at least a thousand dollar increase, if not more, because it's a seven year step in which the state is cutting back funding of two hundred and fifty million dollars to the local school district. Do you have a plan for taxpayers? And I don't want to hear about affordable housing. I want to hear what is your plan to protect taxpayers of Jersey City? And I'm waiting right now for your response. If I don't hear a response. Yvonne, I agree with you. I, I, I had that conversation and so we are having conversations because that that will be next year challenge. So I want you to know we are having conversations to see exactly what we can do. Yeah, you know, because all I hear is affordable housing and that means more people coming in here using the school system. Now I'm not against people moving in, but I don't want to pay for the school system if it's only going to be on my tax dollars and they're, they're exempt from it. That's absolutely is wrong. So that's something I want to be spoke. It's not something that be done this next year. It should be talked about now. It should be talked about as people are running for office. I want to hear that conversation. And thank you for responding to me. Bye. Okay. This is still a public hearing on the amendment to the calendar year 2021 municipal budget. We just had our first speaker. Um, if anyone is wishing to, we're going to get trying to get our next speaker on the line. If any member of the public watching is wishing to speak, please provide me with your full name and telephone number through the live event Q&A, and we will patch you through the meeting. Just bear with us as we get our next speaker on the line. Okay, I believe we have our next speaker on the line. If you can identify yourself for the record, please. Yes, my name is Jean Daly. Okay, Jean, your time is going to start on my countdown. You're going in three, two, one, go. So this is the public um, speaking portion, Sean? This is, the, this is the public hearing on the amendment to um, the okay, calendar perfect. 2021 the municipal budget. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Um, I don't have my documents in front of me, unfortunately, but there's a couple of questions I did have. Um, I did notice that the under um, quality of life, it's an almost two and a half million dollar budget for quality of life and about 90 some odd thousand for whatever extras they needed. Yet there was no sum 
for the one pro- for the year prior in 2020. So I'm just curious what what this is supposed to consist of because thus far, from my my belief, there has been no uh, clear cut uh, evidence that the quality of life is functioning or functioning well. So can someone explain that to me? No? You asked it about the quality of life budget. Um, Kyle, yes. when did we start quality of life? Uh, this year. Okay. Or so. next January 1st. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. I can share that. So my question is... Too, so. Yes, my, my question is, it didn't, what is encompassing it that it has as a over like almost a two and a half million dollar salary? What has changed with this whole quality of life? Is it? Yeah, that was a merger from some uh, prior existing uh, offices. Um, our municipal prosecutor office, uh, a lot of our uh, inspectors from uh, HEDC um, and our old resident response center. Okay, so therefore they're inclusive in there. Yep. So if I look at last year's budget, say for example, and add those sums up, it should reflect? Yep, you'll, you'll see there's no RFP budget this year either. So there's no increase in the, um, that, that particular line item in the budget? Right, it's just we, there's existing staff that merge into a new division. Gotcha, okay. Um, right. I did have another question. Um, I I don't have the the timer right in front of me right now, but the other question I had was I saw something under economic development and a salary of like seventy thousand dollars or something, and some additional expenses. What is the economic development? That's what I'm curious about. The Department of HEDC. No, it just says economic development. I don't know exactly what you're referencing. So if you want um, to follow me on email though and point it out in the amendment. Pardon me? If you want, you can follow up me um, via email and point out in the amendment for me. I could answer it, but I don't see what you're referencing. Um, can you, how much time do I have left, Sean? You have one minute 44. All right, let me see if I can. So I'd like to find this photo on my phone. Give me one minute. Um, shoot. Um, hold on, Sean. I'm just looking for this. Um, I can't see it. My apologies, Sean. I can't. I can't uh, bring it up on my phone right now. Um, okay. All right. So. Do I have uh, an email address I can available that I can? Uh, you can you can send your question to my email and I'll forward it to. Uh, okay, the thanks, Sean. Staff. Okay, um, so basically that's really some. Well, there's many line items that I'm concerned about, but those are particular ones that stood out to me at this moment. Um, and I really wish for the future that when a bunch of um, Existing organizations are now putting under a different roof, such as the Quality of Life Task Force. It is explained, therefore, in the budget. So I don't have to ask or don't. And the prior um, individual costs of these departments be printed out so I can see. It shouldn't, in my mind, it should not be so obtuse that I have to like ask questions, where is this coming from? and what's being bundled. So, um, but thank you very much for your time. I'll talk to you in a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Kate, this is still a public hearing on the amendment to the calendar year 2021 municipal budget. Any member of the public wishing to be heard, please provide me with your full name and telephone number through the live event Q&A, and we will pass you through the meeting.
Okay, this is the last call on the public hearing on the amendment to the calendar year 2021 municipal budget. Any member of the public wishing to be heard, please provide me with your full name and telephone number through the live event Q&A and we will patch you through the meeting. OK, council members, no one has contacted me through the live event Q&A. May I have a motion to close the public hearing on the amendment to the calendar year 2021 municipal budget? Motion. Motion. Motion made, motion made by Councilperson Lavaro. Uh, the second again, I didn't hear that. Oh, that was me, Sean. OK, Councilperson Baggiano, thank you. Sean, I didn't make that motion. I didn't. This is Councilman Navarro. You did. Rich First made it. Oh, okay. I apologize. I apologize. So, with Councilman Baggiano that made the motion, may I have a second? Second. Second was made by Councilperson Frenzary. Just give me one second. I apologize for that. So, motion was made by Councilperson Baggiano. Seconded by Councilperson Bryn Perry to close the public hearing on the amendment to the calendar year 2021 municipal budget. Councilperson Ridley. Aye. Councilperson Bryn Aye. Councilperson Baggiano. Aye. Councilperson Soleil. Aye. Councilperson Solomon. Aye. Councilperson Robinson. Aye. Councilperson Lavaro. Yeah. Aye. Yes. And Councilperson Rivera is absent. Council President Aye. Warden. Aye. Motion carries 8-0 with Councilperson Rivera absent. Okay, the only other item on the agenda is the item 10.1 City Resolution 21-610 is a resolution to adopt the calendar year 2021 municipal budget. Councilperson Ridley. Aye. Councilperson Frenzeri. Aye. Councilperson Baggiano. Aye. Councilperson Soleil. Aye. Councilperson Solomon. So I thank uh, BA Kyle for all the work. Um, with that said, I still have some concerns on how we're addressing the water tax, so I'm going to vote no. Okay. Councilperson Robinson. Aye. Councilperson Lavaro. Uh, just a question for um, the administration before I cast my vote. Um, so the total amount raised in taxes um, excuse me, one second, record straight here. The total amount raised by taxation went from 213 million from the introduced budget to 223 million uh, and 674,000, uh, nearly $10 million uh, increased in the amount to be raised by taxation, 9.7 million. Um, can you just um, clarify what that means for the individual property owner or homeowner. So it was uh, mm -hmm. estimated at $1,000 per household um, in a reduction. And can you give us a number as to what that will look like now for households with this budget? Yep. Councilman, I can answer that. So with these adjustments that we made, obviously, um, since our last caucus um, was one revenue item that we did add in, because um, you see there was some other changes to uh, um, some other revenue items that we had to offset. but. Um, all that being said, after we entered everything, this, the assessment is still like north of $900 on the average assessment. And um, once the tax assessor's office certifies the rate, you know, we'll, we'll confirm that uh, for you. Um, 
probably for the upcoming days. North of uh, 900, you said? Yes. Um, OK. And so um, according to the media reports, I think it was uh, the tax um, increase per household as a result of the school levy is uh, close right. to. Yeah, uh, I, I remember from the, if you recall from the caucus on the amendment, they, um, they disallowed one of our um, anticipated revenue items. So that was uh, approximately $8 million, um, you know, that we couldn't make up. But um, we, we, Added some other items in, and you know, I'll set that as much as possible. Okay. Uh, and then um, I, I asked this at the last uh, council meeting as well, and uh, following up on what Councilman Solomon said, um, is is there any um, is the expenditure for the regional industries, the trash collection contract, is it uh, incorporated in this current budget? I I, I remember the. Metro um, touched on that. There's nothing in our budget uh, this year, but I know it's under legal review um, for options for next year. And so I, the question I also asked was, uh, if it's not in our budget and the MUA is refunding it, um, the fees according to uh, the mayor, um, and refunding the fees, the the solid waste collection fee back to the rate payers um, and the MUA contract is still with the MUA, um, then who is paying for the contract? And I haven't received an answer to that. Um, and so I'll give one more opportunity for administration to, to respond to that question um, as to who is, how is that contract being paid for? The 2021 contract. I don't know. I don't know if uh, Mark has an answer from the administration side, but um, in this year's budget, we don't have any. Um, we don't have that contract in ours, so that hasn't changed since the last caucus. Councilman, I I apologize. I don't have all the information um, on that, but I, I will commit to getting you the answer after the meeting. Thank you, Barker. All right, so, so that being said, um, I'm, I'm going to make two points. Um, one was uh, I made in the past and I heard it reiterated in the, the press by um, Bridget D'Souza, who's been a um, fiscal watchdog and advocate. Um, you know, this, this budget uh, includes uh, 70 plus million dollars in American Rescue Plan. And so I know that uh, once this budget is approved, we'll finally see our actual tax bills go out and taxpayers will receive their um, tax bills. That'll suggest that there's a reduction um, in the local levy um, that's offsetting the increase in the levy from the school side of the budget. Um, and it'll essentially be a wash as it pertains to an individual taxpayer's bill. And, um, and so they'll, uh, the, the administration will take credit for this and say that, uh, um, you know, on the, on the city side that we're doing, doing our best to and taking action around that. But the reality is that this is there's nothing in this budget that actually addresses that um, in terms of uh, providing relief to homeowners other than through the American Rescue Plan, which is a bailout from the federal government in the sum of over 70 plus million dollars, um, which is 70 less million dollars than that would be raised by taxation. Um, so that being said, um, you know, this, this is a temporary fix. It's essentially um, what uh, the councilman Steve Fulop used to call as well, uh, one-shot revenues. I'm not suggesting that uh, we should uh, um, not take the one-shot revenue because we need it, um, but we should also not pretend that this is um, a fix um, or that this is somehow um, uh, structurally sound um, and that there's more that we need to do because we know that ultimately we will have to address this in, in later years. We'll have another shot of the American Rescue Plan another injection of uh, American Rescue Plan uh, relief in the 2022 budget. Um, but after that uh, period ends, um, Jersey City doesn't know where it will be or and other municipalities throughout the nation don't know that where they'll be as well. Um, and so we should be planning and anticipating for that. Um, the second thing I'll reiterate what Councilman Solomon said, and that is uh, that uh, um, there, there are, I appreciate uh, Barker that you'll get me the answers. I'm confident that you will. Um, um, 
And but uh, at this point, I've, I've asked that question repeatedly and uh, there are no answers as to how that how that uh, uh, solid waste uh, contract collection contract is going to be trash collection contract is being covered and, uh, and what the impact is on taxpayers or ratepayers or both. Um, that being said, um, uh, this uh, I'm going to be voting no on this budget for those reasons um, that uh, it doesn't provide any structural long term solutions to some of our most pressing problems and it doesn't answer the questions on the solid waste collection fee. I vote no. OK. <clears throat> Council person Rivera is absent and Council mm -hmm. President Waterman. Yeah. Yes. OK. So if I could just recap item 10.1 city resolution. 21 dash 610 the Adoption of the count the year 2021 municipal budget is approved. Six two. With council person Rivera absent. If the council has nothing else. May I have a motion to adjourn at 309 PM? Motion. Motion made by Council President Borderman. May I have a second? Second. Second by Council Person Ridley, it sounded like to me. Hope I got that right. On the motion to adjourn at 3.09 p.m., all council members present by acclamation, please say aye. 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 Okay, we are out of here at 3.09 p.m. Thank you very much. Council President, members of the Municipal Council, members of the public, and our staff, behind the scenes and the staff that was here. Uh, thank you for making this possible. Thank you for your patience with me reading the entire amendment into the record. It's not the clerk's favorite thing to do, but it is a requirement. So thank you so much. Uh, everyone, please stay safe out there. And remember, always remember teamwork makes the dream, dream work. Have a great rest of the day. Be safe out there with the storm. Have a great night. Take care. Thank you. Good night.